I'm wondering though, paano ka ba napasok sa pole vaulting? Because di ba usually sa Pilipinas, hindi naman yun yung basketball. unang iisipin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Basketball. And you're also a pretty tall guy, di ba? Um, there's basketball, there's volleyball, lots of different sports. Although, alam ko na your, your dad was an athlete, di ba? Yeah. So, pero ikaw, in particular, paano ka napasok sa pole vaulting? I think I was introduced by my dad. You know, I can't deny that my dad was the guy who put me in pole vaulting he's the guy who i looked up to you know as a kid in bata i mean you see your dad as a you know your modern day superhero you know he does things that you can't you know he lifts you he throws you in the air you know these are the things that my dad used to do and anything that he does is amazing for me and imagine seeing it from my eyes someone flinging themselves like 16 feet up in the air so it's out of this world and then of course, you know, as a kid, you want this flight, you want to experience you know, free fall or, or some kind of sense of flight, like like what Superman and these superheroes that we watched when we were kids. And the easiest thing that I saw was pole vaulting. And the closest thing that my dad can give me was pole vaulting. And then I basically got into it. And then, you know, it slowly progressed into an opportunity to get scholarship and an opportunity for me to be recruited by, you know, big universities in Manila, that's when it started to be more of a sport than just some pastime, some, something that is fun for me. I kind of got into it in university, got recruited, and that's where basically it started to be serious and represented Philippines and so on and so forth. Do you still remember yung unang beses na sumubok ka ng pole vaulting? Like yung unang takbo and talon over the bar? I don't think I can remember it vividly. I just know that I, I was not trying to jump over the bar. I was trying to get over the, the mattress, the, the pit where we actually land. You know, being small kid, you know, and then my dad is actually pulling the, the pole across and I just basically hang and then, you know, kind of goes over the, not even the bar, it's just a set of foam pits. So that's, that's what is the earliest uh, memory of pole vaulting for me. And then, kailan mo na-realize na parang, teka, pwede ko tong gawin, you know, as a career, parang I can, I can really shift my entire focus to pole vaulting. Well, I never really saw it as a career, and I think I'm I'm one of those athletes that I I understand that this is this is not a career. This is my opportunity to make history. You know, you know what I mean. As an athlete, I didn't see it first like, oh, I'm good at it. No, I was not good at it. You know, I was I was decent in Philippines. I was good maybe in university and the Philippines, but competitively outside of the Philippines, I was terrible. I didn't make the world uh, juniors, which you know a lot of the athletes at that time at my age were able to go to. So I think I wanted that Olympic dream. And I really felt that I was close enough to make it a reality. But then, you know, I got injured. And I think that kind of just put a bit more importance, you know, you know what they say when you lost something, and then you you're given opportunity to have it again, you know, you just want it a little bit more, you know, you understand the value of it. And yeah, when pole vaulting was took away from me back in 2017, I had, you know, basically two options in six months, like continue my studies in, in USD and, and, you know, live a normal life. I've done my part as an athlete or pursue my dream to be an Olympian and try to make Tokyo Olympics. It didn't make a lot of sense at that time, but I said to my parents, you know, I, I, I would regret it when come the time where I can't do this anymore. I would regret it not trying. I didn't see it as a career. You know, I just saw it that this is my opportunity and it meant so much for me that I needed to try. It was a hard, you know, as Filipinos, it is a hard decision to tell my parents that I'm going to focus on pole thing for the next two years. I'm going to take a leave of absence from, from my university and study as minimal as I needed and pursue this dream. 